Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 1, season 10. 10 seasons of this, dear god, of lots of giants. It's time for the Wigfred. For Wigfred, so we just beat it as Maxwell, and I don't want to click the next arrow because I don't want to play this character. Ah, it's not Wigfred, because I didn't press ROG. I'm just kidding, I was messing with you. I, I just don't want to play with Wigfred. But anyway, there is Wigfred, the performance artist, all all the world's a state, all the world a stage for me. Goddamn, that English. Come on now. Anyway, excels in battle, absorbs the power of fallen foes, only eats meat. So of course her caveat is eating just meat. We only have a handful of characters left, guys. We're going to do shipwreck characters. I've said this a million times. So we have Woodlegs, Wilbur, Warley. He's so whiny. Milani, and a good old Weber. Can't wait to play Weber, but it is time for Wigfrib. So let's hit apply here. And of course, we go to world. We go all the way over. And Badger, and Deerclops, and Moosey, and Defly are on lots. So hit apply. And like I normally do, double check just to make sure lots, 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 lots that we are good to go. Here we go, people. Here we go. And no, no shipwreck compatibility, just so I don't use any shipwreck recipes on accident. That is not my intention. Yeah. Um, there's really, there, there is merit to basing in the desert, there's merit to doing all kinds of things we normally would do, but remember she can't eat the meat. So getting a crock pot or, and drying racks for sanity up and running is going to be important, because she can't eat green caps for sanity. She can't eat, like, half the normal shit that I would eat for sanity. She does, of course, start with four meat, which is a little bit useful, that is to keep her going. There's no real point in me getting the, the berry bushes right now. There's every point in me trying to trap bunnies and use them as like portable meat sources, like wait until they're about to die, murder them, things like that. Of course, you you get a trap pretty freaking early on. Not not another bird trap, but the regular trap. So we can get meat that way if we need to. Mole worms, as Wigford, are an excellent source of food. Don't forget to butcher those poor souls, cause they're dumb and they always drop morsels. And again, they're dumb. So nomading as her isn't going to be as straightforward as nomading as other characters. I knew I heard the swamp. I thought I heard a tentacle. That's going to be useful. Killing slash hugging spooters is going to be incredibly useful. She can't eat butterflies for health, which is really funny because, like, y you think of being a living creature and everything like that, and we maybe maybe may maybe would make sense. No? no, 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 no butterflies for HP. She does, of course, start with this again: the spear, the battle helm. This dude, if he comes at me, I'm going to kill him. Probably not going to come at me. I can kill him with a berry, but if he does that, I can also kill him. <laughs> Poor bunny. But uh, she's got a lot of health, not a lot of sanity, but the thing is here, she kills things and gets sanity back, and she gets health back. So while I'm not able to nuke butterflies down for HP, if I kill things, I get health and sanity back every time. That's a nice way to take the edge off, and it does make it so she can live off of monster meat in a pinch. Cook the monster meat so you don't take the full health penalty. Eat it. And of course, while, you hug, while you're hugging spooters, you're getting that health and sanity back anyway. I will save flowers for a rainy day, and not like rainy as in like pretty parasol day because it's autumn. Thank god, that's a little more useful. And again, an, a spring spawn with a frog rain as Wigfred would be, would be a godsend. But yeah, you, you, get, you get the point. You get the point. We don't, we don't need to make an umbrella right now, there's no immediate rush. You can of course lure bunnies with berries because they're dumb. Now, they're, they're not as like stupid as turkeys per se, but you can, you can use it to lure them. It's also good if you just put it in a trap. And then they go after the trap specifically. Now, we have what looks like a quarry over here, a spooter quarry, which is incredibly useful as Wigfred. Because we can make, uh, what is it, battle helms already, and it uses stone and gold, which is very nice. I would like another piece of flint to make myself a pickaxe, and I didn't think there was one back here. Uh, I don't think there is one, but we know where we're going. There's an easy wormhole. Now, again, sanity being pretty easy to regen is her. Uh, no big deal to hop through that wormhole. We can just go kill shit, get sanity back. That is easy peasy. But uh, yeah, I, I can make like armor and spears and you know, shit like that off the get-go. That's, that's quite nice. Quite nice. A true warrior gets, goes down with her, but I gotta examine things. I will make it into a spear. I, I just remember to do this. What about when it's harvested? I have slain the small tree. Her sounds are so annoying. Ah, ah, God damn. It fell to my might. Future fire wood. Oh god, the umlauts. The umlauts. Yeah, yeah, the, the umlauts. Okay. What about fire? Er, flyers? Flowers? Fire from Friaria? Yeah. Okay. Rest easy in Valhalla. Oh, I'll take a free boomerang. That makes it easy to kill shit at a distance, like that innocent bunny. Sorry, bunny. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a legitimate use for a boomerang for her. I mean, not everybody. I feel home in the woods. Not everybody, er, not everybody bothers to make boomerangs. I sure as shit don't, but there's a. A legit use there, some flint too. 
Yep. You can. You don't have to make a tarp when you can just slay bunnies at a distance. I'd consider killing the bird, but I would probably get a feather, so we'll save it for the bunny wabbits. So morsels and meat are going to be my, my staple here for a while. We can't eat honey. We can, however, make use of honey with honey ham, but can't just eat honey by itself, which sucks because honey's amazing, as we all know. I'll take that. Thank you. So my food supply is set. Getting that boomerang was uh, kind of a blessing. I'm not going to lie. Okay, because I have enough of these, I don't feel bad about making uh, an axe. Getting myself a good bit of wood. And we could go down the quarry right away, which would let me tech up. I'm going to have to hug some spooters here, but we're, we're Wigford. We got this. Not to mention we already have armor. We're going to get stones. We can make helmets. I mean, I don't need pigskin as Wigford. I don't. My normal stack of grasses, not grass, gold, is going to be more useful. So yes, basing near the pig king would be nice because of that, but... I don't know, I may find somewhere slightly different to base. Is there piece? People have requested that I like, base in the swamp. Sir. I know when I play Weber, there's many there's many benefits to not basing in the swamp, but I'm going to base in the swamp for Spooter Bros and try to have as many Spooters as possible. Wigfred, <laughs> I, ha I have a plan to kill her. I feel like what I should do is get as much, like... <laughs> I almost feel like I should get as much non-meat food as possible and just have it in my inventory at the end of the series and just not eat it. And like when she and let her starve to death as a character, just just to stick it to her for for when you're dying, refusing to eat a berry. It's like here, look at the, look at this like stack and stack and stack like every inventory slot full of berries, and just like let her starve as I try to right click on berries to eat them. I mean, something like that is kind of cruel and right up my alley. Maybe we'll do that. Hey, we got gold rocks up here already. I don't have to go to the spooter quarry just yet. A green cap, normally incredibly useful. I can't eat it. I can't even use it to go insane. I don't really have a need. I mean, dang swords are great. I don't really have a need to make dang swords with the battle spear, but yeah, there's 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 a lot of things that are going to be different with the old Wingford run. Now the carrots. I mean, the only thing I'm going to use those for is I I mean maybe lure some wabbits until I of course can get a crockpot. Filler is still good, but I can't consume said filler, which is a problem. All right, before I done goof i'm gonna make myself a pickaxe make myself a, make myself a torch make myself a campfire can't eat the petals for health this food is not fit for work watch your animation oh she only does that in dst god damn it of course she wouldn't of course she wouldn't she's useless you're a useless character such so, mm. I, I, I am personally <laughs> i'm sure you probably guessed i'm not a fan of wigford because in the long game she can't use coffee which has become like ds end game she's pretty good in base rog like yeah but oh the fact that she can't use coffee is just a just a killer uh no and plus everybody plays wakeford so like i don't know everybody you play who you want but eh eh i like my weber bro not my weber buddy everybody plays weber all the noobs play weber but i love my weber buddy i don't know i just give wakeford a hard time because it's fun so, <laughs> you'll probably hear me sass her a few times. Uh, just get rid of the pine cone so I can uh, chop all of these bad boys down. Warm fire, warm rig food. Oh, gross. Smash. Oh, gold. I am pleased with this gold piece. Rocks? Some pretty normal rocks. What about flint? Flint? Vital for spear construction. But meat. The fruit of the earth. <laughs> the true fruit of the earth. So, so meat. I mean, there's so many penis jokes I could make right now, but... I, I suppose I should refrain. I'm, I'm likely going to make dick jokes. I can't help it. Uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to cook up some of that meat right now. Eat it. Of course, it's 25 hunger per when cooked. So that too would fill my belly here without wasting anything. We have to start thinking about rushing crockpots. Maybe just burning down a random forest. Just just don't care about it. Just start burning things down. Get charcoal. Get my alchemy engine, which I should be able to make here shortly. Start tacking. Once we have a crockpot, any and all food worries for her are gone. I mean... Once any character has meatballs, it's you're pretty damn, you're pretty damn good. You don't have to worry about anything. But until then, we do have to worry a tad. There it goes the last of that. I wouldn't mind killing a bunny here with the last 10%. Smash slowly dying carrots. Where's the protein? Fruits I don't like them. That's how you get scurvy. For flinging at foes. What about your helmet? The power of the unicorn is great. What about your spear? My comrade in arms. Logs. Oh, what is always about? I think I already did that. Torch? Perfect for a nighttime assault. Alright, well I can make a good bit of this. Uh, there's more flint here. Of course I've got all the flint in the damn world. This is a pretty decent biome. Pretty decent rocky biome into a mosaic here. Mosaic's not what I want to be exploring right now. But I might go through it and just chop the trees down. I've got all this gold already. I can start teching here. Okay, that fire is still going. I should make use of it. 
So, the meat is going bad quicker, obviously. We've had it for longer, so let's cook up two. I can cook up three and get the, the use out of it, but I'm going to wait. want to go for gold rocks mainly. Now, autumn, of course, means winter's coming up, which is nice because... I, I, I've gotten used to having summer come up first because then, then like crops still grow, but winter is just objectively, in my opinion, easier. Less of an annoyance, less of a hassle. So winter's nice. I can stay warm and stay busy as Wigfred. And what I really, really, really like about an autumn spawn into winter, uh, in, into winter, is if I found Mac Tusk, I can, I can, RNG, <laughs> RNG aside, I can likely get myself a walking cane, and a walking cane makes a world of difference, as we all know. 25% increased movement speed, that's 25% less time you spend doing whatever action as you're trying to, like, go through the go, go through the world, make your base, whatever, get to an enemy, get to here, go to there, yeah. It just, it lets you do so much more. And the earlier I get it, the better I feel, or better off I feel I am. And it also means I get tons of ice for summer. Yes. Good shit. Okay, we're about to fill up our inventory slot. I can make myself a science machine. I will get myself a backpack. And of course, this gets her sanity max, so that, that's useful. Mm, learning how to do boards would be good, I guess. I'm gonna need four boards for my alchemy engine. And yep, yep, two do that, which I can do with the stone. I'll do that. I gotta go get the rest of that crap. So we need four total, because we need to make the actual doodads. So I'm getting unnecessary sanity at this point, but it gets this out of my way. And if I chop some of these trees, that would be good to go. Uh, learning how to make a shovel now is cool, but not a necessity. I don't have an axe in my inventory, right? I broke it. I think I did. I think I did. We're gonna roll with that. I don't want the seed. I can't eat it. She doesn't like it. Tiny nature bits. That's what she said. What'd she say about doodads? Come on. Hurry up, chop this tree. A marvel of science. Grandfather longs. Oh, uh, no, what about the pickaxe? I can usually get precious spear and helm materials. The baby tree is well protected by spiky armor. She's got some derpy quotes. Derpy quotes. Uh, I'll hang on to the pine cones for the moment. May end up using it as a fuel source. Mainly want to get some trees going here so I can just get this alchemy engine done and start looking for a cool place to call home. Get myself a crock pot thrown down. I might just make a random crock pot. You know, just make my meatballs and be done with it. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Meaty stew does not really work well for her. 120 her belly. I mean, 150 max. So it's funny that she, the meat eater, can't get the full statistical benefit of meaty stew. Weird. Jerky's gonna be one for BFFs because of the sanity. Because you gotta think whenever I'm fighting these bosses, yes, as I kill them and such, you know, I'll get sanity here and there, but like, eh, I'll kill nightmares, yeah, I get sanity, but still, I, I have no easy way to restore sanity. I can't just gobble down some cactus flesh. Eat up some green caps, you know, the norm. She throws a wrench into that, that she does. Okay, two more of you. And I have enough to make the science machine or the alchemy engine, so why don't I explore this and on my way back we'll hit up the science machine. I think that's a good idea. You know, I can stay exploring here, chop some trees down, try to break this axe. If there's a babby tree, I got a 5% axe waiting for it. Oh, babby tree. Oh, babby tree. I mean, you're not a babby tree, but I'll take you. What well, ice? A miniature frozen mountain. A oh, birds. Raven friend. Science machine? I prefer battle to science. I mean, science makes for some fun battle. Like, let's be real here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm probably not going to get the meat, but let's try. Hey! I got lucky. Nice. I will take that. That is good. Of course, she needs foods, and I got to deliver. Giggity, giggity. So, let's get on that. 18%. 18% should get me this mined up. Nice. Break you. Awesome. Extra inventory slot freed up. I've got enough gold and rocks and such for a little while. You're a tier three. No point in chopping you down. Again, I, I said let's explore this place and then come back because we're going to lose sanity from this and then we'll make my alchemy engine. Do not have a full stack of flint. Let's move some things around here. The usual gold and flint spots that I like to... Yeah, there we go. That I like to have. Flint there, logs, everything like that. It's looking hunky dory. If I make another axe, I mean, I could use it. Yeah, I, 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 I could chop a couple trees down. I'm gonna need them. Mm, it's, pretty, it's pretty tempting. It, it's a kind of a waste of an inventory space, but you know what? We need it. Let's, let's not dilly dally, shall we? Let's just chop that shit down. I feel at home. What about the regular bird? Red like blood. I mean, red regular bird, red bird, whatever. I see those birds more often. Because I'm usually not in the crappy turf type that always spawns in ravens. 
All right, examine the raven. What about you? Chop of the warrior in the woods. The warrior in the woods. You sound like an axe murderer. The warrior in the woods. And you know what's gonna be nice? Moosey spawn again. It usually spawns in like the first episode, the end, uh, the end of the first episode, the beginning of the uh, second one. Moosey spawning in. We always kill her. That's food. So that's a good start. It's gonna help. It's not a necessity. You can definitely get away without it if I were to go prioritize food right now. But I think with four morsels and some of the shit that I can kind of wait. I definitely don't have as much time to do what I normally would do. And, like, prioritize stuff. Because I'm on a timer. I have so much food that I can eat before I need to go get more. Because I can't live off of berries. I can't live off of twigs. I can't nomad and eat seeds. That is a, a big concern. And obviously, being in a mosaic, I'm not going to find Jack to squat of that nature. So, this is more or less just me mapping this stuff out before we head on out of this place. Uh, yeah, I'll chop these two. I might, yeah, I'm gonna throw down a campfire, I think. Yeah, or not. I don't know, I can cook up the food later, but I want to stay on the move. Yeah, let me just kill this tree real quick, and then we'll use the torch and stay moving. And I want to idle about. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill the tree, kill the tree. Wait for it. If you're so strong, why can't you kill the tree faster? That is a legitimate question. For that matter, why can't Wolfgang do it, huh? Why isn't he, like, the best lumberjack? We don't need no stinking woody character. Feels weird knowing that I have this foot. This is effectively a football helmet. It's a little bit better, I think. But I have the. Ooh, nice. Oh, wait, no. It's just a little hole in the. Oh, I thought it was connecting to a new area. But uh, I already have the damage resistance, so I really don't have to be as cautious. I'm still going to be cautious. But I don't have to be super cautious about enemies. I suppose I ought to be burning trees down and just getting my charcoal now, because then I can pre craft my, uh, my crock pot. I need a bad idea. This isn't like a big forest or anything, so I'm not risking setting a lot on fire. Excellent. I'll do that. We shall do that. And that saves me all of the, uh... It saves me all the torch durability. Good shit. Okay, there's one over here that I'd like to burn down, I think. Yes, sir. Burn you. And hey! All that rope. I like free rope. Nice. So all that stuff's going. I do need to cook up the food, but... If I can, if I can postpone it a little bit, I think it's for the better, because maybe I can make some meatballs out of it first. All right, can I? Is the light over there? No, the light's gone. Where's the tree? Right here? Here? Can it just be day so I can actually see? You know? Day, please. Yeah. Day, day. Where are you? Day, come back. What'd you say, what'd you say about Charlie? Come on, don't be day. No. No, I wanted to see what she said about Charlie. Damn it. Same, same, same examine, yeah, rest easy. The tarp is nice, because I can go use this on the bunnies, because we don't have the, um... Oh, the boomerang anymore. That's a, a okay get. Alright, we're hungry. We're definitely gonna have to put the food down. Or the campfire down for the food. I ain't worried about it, man. We'll go hit up those spooters, give them some hugs, eat the monster meat. Shit. Make monster meat useful for a change? I'm okay with this. How does an okay wormhole to already have located... I really want to go back there, and if I jump through, I'm going to lose 30 total sanity. Like, I kind of want to map it and then come back. This isn't worth it, but I'm prototyping things, so it's worth it. That's my excuse. I hear things moving. Tum uh, mole worms, okay. Ooh, this is likely Pig King. Hey, buddy, come here. I can always go for another... Ooh, nice, you fucked up. I can always go for another morsel. Thanks, man. That makes that all the more worth it. Okie doke. So, let's, uh... I have to throw that fire down. I want to I go as long as I can without eating. Long as I can without eating. Let's go back to the science machine here while still mapping this stuff out. Oh, we had six. We were at six hunger. Do not have a lot of time to do this, but I will attempt to. I'm definitely going to have to put the campfire down. <laughs> I'm going as long as I can without doing it. it, it, it no, just I think, it's, I think it's worth it. I gotta stay busy, man. Gotta stay busy. Come on. Go, 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 go. Mm, I don't want to put the campfire down. No, totes a waste, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna wait till two. I'll wait till two. Wait till it says two. We got this. <gasps> it says two. Oh my god, guys, we're gonna die. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I am fine. Yoink and yoink. She's a happy camper for a while now. Awesome. It's already pre-crafted. There's still some gold back there. I wouldn't mind getting. Uh, I can't chop that thing down. I can chop down a babby tree. I can only chop down a babby toothless X. Okay, so let's hit up the science machine and then ducking through that wormhole would be an excellent idea because the cave is right there. I can go down the cave, I can look for light bulbs, but I'd prefer to let Moosey spawn 
first, because she usually shows up on the first day. Usually. Usually. Uh, learning how to know how to... Learning how to know how to... <laughs> learning how to make ropes good. Uh, a spear and a pinch would be nice, but those resources I always have on me anyway, so for now I'm going to refrain from it. Don't need the log suit. Don't really need any kind of sanity. Uh, straw wall and uh, fire. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the endo. That gives me all the sanity that I need. Could, of course, break that down for the resources, but let's get back on, on the exploratory trail. Let's get moving here. And I wouldn't mind finding some more spooters, because I could definitely make use of the food that they've got. I've only got five morsels. Now remember, these are no these are no actual meat items. Like, they're, they're, they're teeny in comparison. It's not going to be that filling. Being the deciduous would be nice, too, because more mole worms to butcher. How I long for a feast. How you are whiny, and you always ask for food, and then you refuse to eat the good kinds of food, man. You, you, you dummy. You dummy, you. You dummy. This is like the biggest mosaic ever. Holy cow. Definitely want stone for helmets. All the stone is going to be used for damn sure. I'll take some flint. Give me that flint. Alright, so tools. Do I have any other tools? I could put the torch over here. I could definitely have made another pickaxe and been mining that stuff, but I don't really have the time right now. I mean, I gotta put down the, the crock pot and just just give me some, just give me some meatballs and we'll be good to go. So I will likely come back here for that. My reasoning is we might get a walking cane in this run, so I'll, I'll have the excuse that I can do it 25 percent faster and I'll make up for lost time. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I can still, of course, pick up flowers for emergency sanity if I need to, but where possible, I like to avoid it. Can I just scare you? Go, go, do it, shoot, okay, okay, and then we'll tell you to go back home. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll work just fine. Here you go, man. You son of a bitch. I could dig up the hole if I really wanted to, but I ain't gonna worry about it. I could also have just baited him. I might do that with the next bunny we see because of carrots. But it's also going to be night here and they're not gonna be out in a boot. No! Oh, can we find some spooters in this forest? I wouldn't mind hugging some spooters. Hey, totally normal tree. Um, Some early living logs is nice. We'll, we'll roll with it. I don't know if I'm really gonna be using dang swords too much in this run. We'll see. But it'd be a good idea to get rid of it now. Sadly, of course, the tree, the tree of life, but it is not. What? What'd she say? It's not you. Yourself. Okay. Uh huh. I'll get the reference. Okay. But yeah, I don't have a. Sadly, I don't have a shovel, so I can't get the stumps. So I can't get the extra log. She can't make use of blue caps. There's something else to note. Of course, she gets health from killing shit, but she's not gonna be able to get that 20 HP boost that other characters would rely on. This is a big old forest, not the biome for me. Hey, this is useful. So you're gonna see the the health if I was hurt. But you're gonna see the sanity thing here. So watch. See how I just got sanity. So I would like to, you know, hug all these dudes. Maybe get some food. And this will help a lot because I can cook this stuff up and have it be a benefit. If anything, what I should actually do is before I go through here and I hug all of them, I should cook that bad food up and eat it. If I like, if I was if this if I was in a pinch right now, cook up all the bad food, eat it. I don't know how you hit me. Nice. Cook up all the bad food and then eat it. Lose the sanity and the health or whatever that you would normally take. And then when you hug the spooters, you get all that back. So you can live off of monster meat. It's it's pretty funny. She she's got that going for her. Some pigs. I am pretty tempted to make the hammer and start taking them down. I don't need the pigskin per se, but an umbrella would be nice. The free boards, the cut stone. That's it's all useful. Do we want to do that? Um. I mean, I've got the stuff. Um, I'm gonna wager yes. I could bait a bunny with this, but screw it. I'd rather have the stone here than I'm gonna get. Yep. And of course the pig skin. So, uh, pig skin's got a little bit of a priority before something eats it. I don't know where he's going. Sorry, one stone. I'll have to get rid of you. There we go. And the glands. Honest to God, I don't truly need them. Are we gonna run into like a pig village up here? Because that'd be sweet. I really doubt it. I really doubt it. Hey, a mandrake. Now, she can't... I don't think she can use mandrake soup. I don't need the pine cones. I don't believe she can use mandrake soup. You're going to follow me, right? Yeah. She can't, however, use the pan flutes. So that's, you know, that, that, that's good. We, 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 we like pan flutes here. Pan, as, we, as we saw with our buddy Maxwell, we like pan flutes here. Pan flutes are flipping awesome. <laughs> that saved me so much hassle. Okay, I would benefit from putting down a campfire and cooking up some food. Here's a nice clearing. So, I'm sorry, Mandrake, buddy. Get, you gotta get out of the way, man. You gotta get out of the way. So, let me show you here. We're gonna cook up the monster meat. I know I should be eating the morsels, but I just kind of want to, like, show you as I hug up some spooters here. Yeah, 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 Wigford. Hush. 
So she, she, she'll get some hunger out of it. Yeah, she loses four health. Who who cares? But look, look, look how much hunger she just got. Oh, 53 sanity? So bad. No. Not when I go hug spooters. It's not... I just wasted that, that torch that whole time. And there's spooters pretty much everywhere in this forest. So that is nice. Spooters are going to be of great benefit to ye old Wigfred. All right, soon as it's day, it's going to be time to wrap the episode up. Though. This episode flew by. The first episode always does. The first episodes always do, because you're getting your base set up. Poor Mandrake, he's going to he's gonna keel over here soon. Hey, I hear, I hear you, Spooter bro. Hey, buddy. So watch the sanity. Hey, there's Moosey. Interesting. Moosey in the forest. All that Mandrake. Mandrake, you got to run, bud. Mandrake, you got to run, bud. He's dead. Show yourself, she says. <laughs> oh, the poor Mandrake. I would like the Niter. I, I can get berries later to bait rabbits. That's fine. So Moosey spawned in somewhere. I don't know where, but we're going to look for... I don't see any screen shake. But guys, it is time to wrap the episode up here. Episode 1, Season 10. Here we are with Wigfred. Just to show you again. Like, I'm getting all that sanity back just from hugging the spooter. So she can live off a of monster meat pretty easily. Hopefully we can find Moosey next episode. Good shit. Good shit. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I want to wrap it up here. Episode 1. Thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you next time.